We're just gonna be waiting down here. Oh! oh. Was that creaking? Did I just see a shadow? sat on fire in this building down in the basement her name was mary there's a house just over the state line that's rumored Aww. to be one of the most haunted in the south octagon hall is now known as a sanctuary for the supernatural a portal to hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowners one of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history what are you talking did about did you see me freaking out earlier? wait you I'm got scratched on ah so it has seth borden and exploring with josh in it that's pretty exciting i need to get back to exploring with Josh and I still haven't yet to react to Seth Borden's channel at some point hopefully it starts coming out uh, I'm trying to focus more on twin paranormal I got to focus on twin paranormal I'm just taking a break on overnight for now especially after those potential copyright issues with the the strikes and everything I just want to avoid them for a little bit uh, give them a break give them a breath and so I'm gonna focus on twin paranormal exploring with Josh Sam and Colby of course we'll keep doing those and I'm excited for tomorrow's video so yeah um, but yeah I need to check out more Seth Borden Seth Borden's one of those guys I really want to check out I just heard hey, and now it says I was killed. Mary, are you kidding me? We went into the house not knowing what to expect. No, 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 no. So that confirms we're definitely talking to the person or entity that literally lit the girl on fire. Nice to meet you. Too good to be true. Octagon Hall. Don't know a whole right, lot about the, this place in general. We're coming up to the Octagon, what do you guys think? I can't see because it's dark right now, but I'm sure it's going to be crazy. I think that light's really bright. I'm sorry, buddy. There's but... only a big truck <laughs> behind us, and I have to stop right now. Yo, hold on tight. Seriously, though. Yo, I have no seatbelt on. <laughs> ah! Ryan and White are already in the Yo, building. Check ah, that okay. Thing out, bro. It looks like an octagon. Oh my god. Octagon, bro. Oh my god, we figured it out. Now we don't have to investigate anymore. Let's just go back. Actually, you know what? Oh my god. Dude. I'm going back. <laughs> no, wait. We're going forward. Okay, so okay. we kind of talked about a little surprise for tonight. Yeah, you did. What is it? Because even in Waverly, like, we have a surprise. We have a surprise. Yeah, I want to know what's up. Drizzy! Drizzy Drake, no way! And you want to hotline me? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, we have a surprise for you guys. I just can't tell you yet. It's kind of... Is, is it, it that in... guy? Oh, no. That's is just, it Wyatt? That's just Wyatt. All right, well, let's go see then. Let's go. I'm, I'm now you're amping me up. Yeah. All right, here's my surprise for you. What? Oh, wow. What the? <laughs> so you were joking? No, I'm serious. Oh, All right, let's do this. Imagine. Tonight, we are going to the infamous Octagon Hall in Franklin, Kentucky. Okay. Someone Not far. Get me a gun. There's a house just over the state line that's rumored to be one of the most haunted in the South. Octagon Hall is now known as a sanctuary for the supernatural. Video inside the home. The door moved on its own. He believes there's something very negative lurking here. Widely known as one of the most haunted places in the South. A portal to hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowners. In 1847, a man that went by the name of Andrew Jackson Caldwell had laid the first cornerstone to this house. To this day, this building is the only octagon-shaped brick house in the South. The reason why Caldwell had built this into an octagon is because of sacred Masonic geometry. So yes, he was a prominent member of the Freemasons. Not only that, it's built on top of a ley line, so that means there's tons of energy attracted to that house. Someone get me a drink. Gin on ice. I have some time to think. When the Civil War broke out, this place was actually still used as a plantation. The Caldwells lived there and they did own slaves. There were a lot of people that lived and died on that land. Mr. Caldwell supported the Confederacy and he allowed the Confederate troops to use the Octagon Hall as a base and makeshift military hospital. Over the duration of the war, thousands of Confederate soldiers would pass through this area and eventually the Union Army would take over the land and use the house as well. Unfortunately, the Union Army was very aggressive and not very kind towards the locals and the slaves that did live on that land, and they would remain in and around the house until the end of the war. It's 
not your song to sing no more Goodbye, blame Weights can't lift you up But you can find a way to drop them over the years, many, many soldiers would die on this property. However, to this day, the exact number is unknown. Good. Yeah. Not only just thinking about how many bodies could potentially be buried around that property, but like just the, the actions that were taken against those people before death. Like just imagine how brutally those people were probably just massacred. Octagon Hall has become such a hotspot for paranormal activity. There are said to be hundreds of spirits on this property, but we are going to be talking about three in particular that people come across on a daily basis. The first and most okay. well-known spirit is of a little 10-year-old girl who was Andrew Jackson Caldwell's daughter. She had actually died in a very gruesome way shortly after the house was built. She had somehow caught on fire. The sad part is she had actually lived after they put out the fire for seven excruciating days. On that seventh day, her body could could not take the pain anymore and she had unfortunately died inside of her bedroom. Hey, Mrs. So -and -so, I see That's horrible. Out of your fancy hat, now I'm part of your game. Hey, honey, don't you know I'm not like all the rest? You might think The second spirit inside that house is that of a young man named Jerome Clark. His nickname was Sue Mundy. He doesn't particularly like that name here in the house, so we try to always call him Jerome Clark. That is his gun, and I think that's the reason why he's here. He was a spy for the Union Army, and he would often dress as a woman to try and gather information, and unfortunately, one day his secret was found out, and he was killed inside of the house. Last but not least, there is one more... <sighs> yeah. I had a feeling when he said he was a spy, I was like, he probably got found out and was murdered because of it. Yep, that's no question. That's unfortunate. More evil entity that people do not like to talk about. Okay, what's his name? Portal to Hell was opened nearly a century ago by the first homeowner. One of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. It's the church's prayer to God and Jesus to cast out the demons. Lots of people say that this isn't a spirit at all, but something more demonic. Rumors are saying that there is some weird secret that dates back when the Caldwell family had lived in the house. They are stating that this dark entity could have appeared when they were performing those mis- Can I just go back really quick? And I don't mean to keep pausing it, but this guy looks insanely pissed off. This guy looks insanely pissed off, and I'm not insulting him by any means. He just looks like he's just always aggravated. Well, family had lived in the house. They are stating that this dark entity could have appeared when they were performing those Masonic rituals. This energy is known to physically push and scratch the people who come and visit the house. There is one more blistering thought that suggests that this evil entity was the one who caused the little girl to catch on fire. So tonight we are heading to the Octagon Hall in Kentucky to see if these stories are true. But before we do jump into this episode, we have more patches. For those of you who were not able to get your hands on some patches, guys, we have new ones. We have 50 of our original logo on a patch that is gray and green. Guys, these are starting to become more of like a collector's item. I'm starting to patch my jacket with all of the patches that we have so far, so I kind of think it's cool. And I know you guys have been wanting us to release more patches. And subscribe to my channel too. We're on our way to 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. You guys, just take a moment go down below hit the subscribe button it's easy to do you don't have to hit the bell notification no I always recommend you do and if you want to go the extra mile for us and become a member you get early access stuff and uh, yeah yeah just I, I highly recommend it especially if you like hearing my opinion about certain things I'm trying to get more content kicked out especially early access stuff so you guys who are paying monthly have more content than just the normal uh, waiting around and waiting for me to upload been doing with all and that being said Hit that like button too. Yeah, that's something I didn't even mention. Hit that like button, slay it. Hope you guys enjoy this terrifying episode. Okay guys, we are here at the Octagon Hall. Yeah! Yeah! 
How is it that we have so much energy and so much hype every location? It doesn't make any because sense. Because we bring it. We're all crazy. Yeah. We all want it. We all want a ghost hunt. And then when they see our energy and they like it, then they come talk to us even more. Bring it, Josh. Once again, we have I agree with the that. boys with us. Seth Borden and exploring Yo. with <laughs> Doug. We're not doing the Doug thing again. We passed that now. Say it with me. Exploring with, with Doug. Doug. Exploring, exploring with, with Josh. Josh. Exploring <laughs> with Josh. We ain't on that level. Okay. Exploring with Doug. Yep. Exploring with Doug. Uh huh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are here at the Octagon Hall. There are three spirits known to be in this place. Three. One of them being a very evil entity. Oh, no. So when he was in there for one minute, he said he was feeling a bit, like, uneasy and stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. It's got a really weird vibe in there. Dude, if we get married tonight, I swear, I'm going to kiss Seth. That's changed. Dude, wait. It's Seth's birthday still, bro. Oh! oh! Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, birthday Seth! Alright boys, what do we use? Seth's just looking around like, guys, we're gonna wake people up. What we do before we start an investigation, we put our hands in! Whoa! The feet! This feels right. Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll with it! Roll with it! Everybody, hands on his... <laughs> Hands together. <laughs> One, two, three. Octagon, kiss your, your mom, spider legs. That makes no sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter because but we're going to have a good night. We heard lots of stories about the dark entity here. The one who had set that little girl on fire down in the base. I have to say, man, and this is probably going to be a shocker to you guys. There are certain moments where I appreciate the enthusiasm and I appreciate everybody getting all hyped up to do something. It shows that they actually do have a passion for doing what they do. She had it not saying I enjoy all the comedy aspects of a paranormal investigation, not when they try to overdo it or try too hard to be funny. But at the end of the day, there are certain moments where I'm like, you know, I can really get behind and appreciate a lot of people who just love doing what they do. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw that out there. I know that might be shocking to a lot of people, but I really truly believe that. Basement. Stories say that you walk around all over this place in the Octagon Hall. Apparently there's two other spirits, including that little girl. We are calling out to any of the spirits here, and we would like to have a conversation with you if that's possible. Don't be afraid of us. That's fast. We don't mean any harm. And to the dark entity, the dark spirit, we're not here to get rid of you. We just want to have a conversation and find out if that story is true. Before we do start asking questions, what was that? Was that a whistle? Do we have any devices upstairs? No, nothing that'll make that sound. Before we do start asking questions, what was that? It sounded a whistle. It sounded more like a squeak, like a chair squeak when you sit in a chair. It didn't sound like a whistle to me, to be honest. That's a whistle. That came from in here. No, that came upstairs. I said it. I was upstairs. It was a whistle though, as if it's like signaling. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. here. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah. I'd like to be proper with you and introduce the five of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Josh. I can hear my you outside. And my name Loud is Loud as fuck. What I want to do is I have this device that I'm going to set at the top of the stairs. If you can, all you need to do is walk up to it. It'll start to light up and buzz. Already got so the use ball your energy. ready to go. I'll Respect go ahead it. and demonstrate how it works as well so that you're not confused. Should I set it right here? No, all the way up. All the way up there? Yeah. I'm gonna set it here at the top. And if you can, show us that you are up here. That'll pretty much let us know that you are inviting us up here. All you need to do is walk up to this metal antenna, this metal rod, and get near it. It'll start to buzz and light up. Okay. Just let us know, please. We just wanna have a conversation. Whoever's up here, little girl, if you're up here, we just want to talk to you, that's all. We're just going to be waiting down here. Oh! Oh, was that creaking? Yeah, yeah. Did I just see a shadow? I swear to God, I just saw a shadow. I'm going to go back up really quick, because I swear I just saw it, but barely. Down here. No, I went... Let us know, please. Kay. Sorry, I don't we mean just to... just want to have a conversation. Reverse, but... Whoever's up here, little like, right girl, in the corner. up here... We just want to talk to you, As it all. turns. We're just going to be waiting down here. Yeah, a shadow. 
just went by the door. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was right there on the door. Wow. Creepy. Was that creaking? Yeah, yeah. Whatever that was, that was loud. Yeah. It was a pretty solid creep. Are you f kidding me? No way. That's crazy. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we heard. We heard somebody walking to it. Oh, okay, yeah, get the creep. That's amazing. I saw the shadow, yeah. Okay, that means we we'll go upstairs. Yeah, we're gonna go upstairs then. They must wanna have a conversation. Dude, This the guy Hello. here said that this place is so active all the time. I mean, you can kind of feel it though when you walk in here. It's, yeah. What was that? That was temperature change. I heard it go. Yeah, yeah, there it is. That means somebody's walking up to it or something is near it. Yeah, yeah. That's giving that it that producing. cold. Yeah. Let's go up though. Yeah. Dude, now it's like watching us. At the stairs, you think? Maybe. Unfortunately, we can't see you with our own eyes. So I have this other device that I'd like to bring out as soon as we get into one of the bedrooms that gives you the ability to use a word or a sentence. So if you would like to use your words, that would be amazing. Can I get a like on you real quick? You have what, a scratch? What happened? I have a scratch on my stomach. What the f No Wait, way. Did you see me freaking out earlier? Wait. Yeah. Did you see me like moving you got around all weird? already? Wait, when? Just now while I was down, you saw that, right? You, yeah. I thought you were filming me. We're gonna go upstairs then. They must want to have a conversation. Holy Dude, this, shit. The guy Hello. here said that this place is so active. Bro, right there. Literally right as we started walking up. My heart's pounding right now. I just thought like maybe my shirt got like tugged on like one of my hairs or something, but no, you, there's literally it a It looks like a little right baby there. scratch, like two, three like, inches. I mean, show me your hands. He's got gloves Dude, on. he has gloves on, yeah. bro. There's no way yeah. he could have done it. That's crazy. Damn. And it looks like, and it looks that there it goes again, turning back to the same door. No, it looks like, I don't believe Seth would ever lie about anything like that. He seems like a very honest dude. So I, I, I could tell he was freaked out by something. Pretty cool. I mean, we're already off to a great start. That's weird, man. That's why you turned around? Yeah. They say that the dark entity is like, he does like physical touching a lot. Yeah, he'll try He'll to push you, scratch, pull your hair. That's weird too, because earlier you were the one that walked in here and immediately said you don't like feel very... Oh, uh, Also dude. another thing the guy said, when there's groups that come in, the shadow person will target one person. The whole night. Damn it. Did you just... I heard, I heard that. You heard that? That was not. Okay. Let's go in that room, bring out the device that they can use their words and see if we can get anything. Turn it on. The device here in Josh's hand, Poor we're Seth. gonna walk into this room. If you could follow us and communicate with us, that's what we're looking for. If you can give us the information on who scratched Seth already. And we're in airplane mode, by the way, just saying. Give us a sign, please. Dude, what is the f you hear that too? Yeah, there's like knocking. Either that or it's like creaking, but it's like one creak, you know? Again! Why did you scratch With that? With that same clot, like door. Is that oh. a growl? I thought I heard a footstep. Yeah, that's not like a footstep. Where are you? That that's in the next room. What the Right over there. That's, that's that goes right to the next room. It does. That's where I heard it before, too. That's where the camera is. Cool. Oh, cool. Just like, yeah, like, cool, I'm here, yeah. Or maybe cool, you can actually sense me also, or hear guys, me. Look at all the mannequins around us. It's so creepy. Yeah, I know. Dude, like, just... Look at that one, bro. <laughs> look at that one. Was he the doctor? Yeah, dude. dude that looks like he him. looks old as dirt. His face is melting off, bro. Whoa. Literally. What? What? That was like screeching. Oh, that actually just scared the out of me. Was it out there? It sounded like a man. He was like either just yelling like, ah. I almost swear I heard, shut up. No way. I didn't hear it. Who scratched me? I don't really appreciate that, to be honest. What the f The noises we're hearing around us, is that you, the one who scratched me? Hung! Hung! That was a thing that would happen here. No, the slaves got yes. hung in the back, yeah. right? Yeah. No way! Yeah. I don't mean to be demeaning by asking this question, but... Was it a slave? 
or the spirit of a slave that scratched me? Oh! Yeah. Yep. Saying footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I never heard footsteps. Dude, that sounded like a little girl, like a very, like a little girl whispering. Either that, or it was very an, like an eerie kind of demonic esque sound. No, it's almost like somebody's in here with us. Is what? Laugh. Whoa! Is that what I heard? No I way. It sounded like screaming or something. <laughs> Jeez. This could be the dark spirit. Yeah, he likes to f with people and intimidate them. Dark spirit, are you around us right now? Did you do that to that little girl? Did you harm her? She was set on fire. Her name was Mary. And Mary, if you are here, don't be afraid. Come and speak with us, please. Poor kid went in such a horrible Can way. Can you give us a big bang if you want us to leave? The attic. The attic. There is an attic. There is an attic. We Go just figure. can't get to it. There's a ladder. Is there something in the attic? Old old places like this always have attics. My attic is right next to me, actually. That's There's a door right there. And that's the attic door. And I hate going up there. Outside. Outside, too. There's a way to the attic outside, maybe? No, there's also lots of spirits outside. So it could be multiple spirits like telling us their information. Whoever's talking to us, if there's multiple spirits, multiple people, and you're talking through that device, it's getting a little confusing. Dude, I'm also gonna what see what's going heck? on. This is weird. It's like they're stuck. The footsteps are so clear. But I feel like they're behind you, bro. I think they're actually on that ground. Maybe we should go towards the footsteps. You know what's funny? When he walked us through here real quick. The guy literally said to us, if you ask him to show you where to go, they'll set your stuff off or something, just like this REM pod just did, and then they yeah. leave. They don't stay there. The hell? Like they toy with you and make you run around all over the place. So they just draw you somewhere. Yeah, just to mess with you. He literally said that, word for word. That's weird, bro. Can you give us a sign that you're near us, please? See, that's... Pretty good. That's like that the works. room, yeah. I think so. Where's that from? Oh. My. God. Where is that now? The stairs. On Still the stairs? on the stairs. What? Thank you. We keep hearing footsteps or knocking. I don't know what it is. In this room. If you can see where I'm pointing. Right in here. Is there a reason for that? Are you trying to get our attention? You know, that didn't sound like knocking. That almost sounded like some sort of wardrobe opening or closing or like rattling some wardrobe doors. You know what I mean? That didn't even sound like knocking to me. That was like a tap right over here. Yeah. There's no wind whatsoever. It's not just the place settling. There's no way. Footsteps are happening way too much for to be like the yeah. house settling. Yeah. Right. I mean. Whoa, what the f that? I kind of heard that too. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Of what? Dude, of setting the girl on fire! I was just gonna say that. Oh, man. So you did it! So are you guilty of setting the girl on fire? Is that why you're guilty? Oh. Are they just come Is that a confirmation? The REM pod's going off. Mm -hmm. Would you light it up again if that's why you're guilty? Guys? What? Someone's running around downstairs. No. What? Do you feel it? Dude. Oh, oh my God. That was like stomping. You can feel it. That was it. stomping. So that confirms we're definitely talking to the person or entity that literally lit the girl on fire. Okay, I, I'm... A lot of things about to happen again. I really feel like the little girl's the one talking to them because it really sounds like a little girl's voice off in the distance. They just... Oh. That was loud. That was loud. Guys, where, what is going on? This is weird. I Haunting! Doesn't brought us up here. Who scratched Seth? I want to go here so bad. Can somebody give us that information? What are you? That was like some thump down there. 
I'm so confused. Me too. This is like so confusing. Well, think about it. I asked again, if you're guilty, can you light it off one more time? Yeah. Bang, then it lit off. So we know we're talking to the actual spirit that burned the, you know, the girl. I really feel like this happens often, like when we go to locations and stuff where spirits are so distant, yet they're also giving you like some evidence. And then later on, they start to feel way more comfortable. It's weird. It's almost like, you know, you're meeting new people and inviting them into your home as guests for the first time. And you're always like a little bit standoffish. That's why they always say. Burn. Burden. Oh so Whoa. We're, we're a burden. I thought I said burn welcomed. for a second. I mean, think about it. This is their space. <gasps> no f way. Sounds like somebody's here. Is there somebody? Living here right now, a person who's alive. Dude, what the f is no. going on? I'd go downstairs. Oh and my f god, what? did you hear that? I, you guys didn't hear that? No. As soon as I'm leaning over to look down, it sounded like somebody stepped and creaked on the first step down there. I'm going to leave. Whoa! Oh my god. Who is this? Holy shit. What's oh, that? Way. What happened? The music. Oh my god. Dude, we were saying we thought we heard footsteps. In that room is it's us! us! Dude. Dude. I gotta pause so I can talk because there's something happening every like two seconds in this video. It, that room it, that keeps moving, the camera keeps moving, is very active if it keeps picking up something moving in the room. I would go in there. I can't wait to go see the, them go inside there. Thank you for that. What is going on? Everybody stand away real quick. I just want to make sure it has nothing to do with us. It can't reach that far anyway. No, only six feet. There's been multiple times I and Wyatt so far have stood right here and it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was him. All of the spirits here, if you can hear us and understand what we're saying, please don't fear us. We're not gonna be here for a long time. We're just here as guests for a couple of hours. So if you can, with all due respect, please come and have a conversation with us. Please show us where you are. Can we open up that door? I just wanted to see what was in there. Approach. Approach. Approach the, the, the closet door? No, I said please, like with all due respect, please come and have a conversation with us. Do you want me to go stand in the closet? <laughs> Can I get ripped to shreds in there? Yeah. You got scratched, when you get scratched again? That's really interesting that you gotta got go the extra mile sometimes, away. you know? As soon as we got here, you were saying the whole time we were setting up and getting B-roll that you're feeling weird. You are not safe. Ooh, oh, great. Seth, no way, bro. Awesome. Why? You got targeted right away. And that's what they say happens here. Why'd you target me? Did you just, did anybody just? Uh huh. What? You didn't hear? I it was like I two knocks. It was like. Yeah. <gasps> they're, no. re they're acting to your knock? Do, do it again. What the f was right there? That was right there. That's insane. I've never Whoa. ever seen anything like that. Guys, this before. doesn't make sense. This is weird. I've never seen that ever happen. Ready? <gasps> that sounds further. It, like it was secrets. 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 Reacted to your same. That's right always so that. cool when they do the exact same thing you do. That was like right That's there. awesome. <gasps> Hello? Oh my god, did you just <laughs> that one? What do they want? Are we allowed in that room? That's right there. I wonder if that's what they're doing. They're literally moving back and forth. Oh, no, there's no f***ing way because I was standing here and nothing was interfering at all with it. That was still too. Fuck. Curse. Does this place have a curse on it? Is that why there may be the shadow? 
I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. Please, for the love of God, tell me you heard that. Was it another footstep? No, I think I just heard a door shut downstairs. No, well, I did not hear that. Think, like, which door do you think it might have been? I don't know. That was just, like the click of a door. I mean, someone just imitated everyone's knock in that room. Dude. Who's downstairs? Did you just that was Harry. Harry? Harry? Are you a different spirit? Everywhere, dude. This is not making any sense. Now I'm starting to feel like somebody's in here. So you think there's more than one here? No, I just, like an actual person. Oh. If Wyatt heard a door. Go down there. Oh god, should we like just check the house real quick? Cause that's kind of sketchy. Yeah, people talking. There's a ball at the top. Stuck here. Stuck here? Whoa. Whoa. I'm starting to feel a little paranoid. Dude, me too. About the whole why it hurt a door. Maybe we should go down there, check, and then make our way to the basement. If anything more happens up here, I'd like to come back. I have a surprise for you guys. You guys might hate it. You might also be terrified. A little bit of poo pants. I don't want to my pants in the museum. I don't want her underwear on me right now, dude. You can borrow mine that I have around my waist. Respect. Challenge. Challenge. Is that a challenge for us to go? Well, apparently, if you go down to the basement, that's where like some real like evil stuff happens. Yeah, of course, I've always done an investigation where someone knocked and I got the knock back. That's yeah. never yeah. happened. That is crazy. the coolest thing already. Like it's crazy to me. I've never seen that in any investigation. All right, let's go down the basement and lights out. Down we go. Okay, we're making our way down into the basement where the little girl had burnt and lived for seven days after. Lucifer. Whoa! Oh my god! Ooh. Is that the shadow man down there? Is that what people call you? It's completely pitch black. So this is gonna be a little bit of a mission. But I have a surprise for the guys. I mean, just said Lucifer though, and we're going down. I mean, yeah, that's good. Mary! Are you down here? Are you okay? I just felt like something like poked me in my chest. That felt so weird. I stopped. I was behind you. Did you just touch me again? May it might be dangerous for Seth to be here, man. Nah. He's being targeted. I'm being watched everywhere right now. I think now would be the best time to show you what I have. Oh, I don't think so. And you want me to open? Is that a Dybbuk You're box? Kidding me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No way. I'm not doing that. You, I'll, I'll go stand outside. That's fine. You guys can do it in here. I'm not, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm sorry. The last time we opened one of these, was something the really bad happened. We don't even know what the We had bad luck for so long after those videos. I want it to be open, but I generally don't think I can do it either. How about this? <gasps> Heard footsteps upstairs, just saying. Where's the red pod? I'm gonna stick it on the ground. I'm gonna stick a rim pod on top of it to see what happens. See if anything happens, any like interest. Calm down. All right. Let's go where the fire was. I have this box here that may hold another. Silent. Oh. Dude, they just silenced you. Wow. This box might hold another dark entity in it. What I'm gonna do is set it here in the middle of the table. I'm gonna put this device on top of it. Can you maybe hold on to the device and make it light up if you know that there is something inside? I don't know. My arms. <gasps> my arms. She got burnt, dude. From her, yeah. I mean, at one point she probably was like, my arms, my arms. Oh, for you know? sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Any of the spirits, where are you? Are you in here? Are you out there? Are you upstairs? Why do people see a shadow figure here, down in the basement most of the time? Are you the one who set the fire? To Mary? Did you kill her? Oh. Oh my god, dude. Guys. This is... That straight up grabbed it. Did I scare you? Whoa! Oh my no. no way. Dude, this is a dark spirit and it's playing with us. Yeah, this thing is... No joke. This fear. 
all of us right now. You did scare us a little bit because we can't see you. We can hear somebody around us. What? Did they find us? Whoa, that light just turned off. Oh my god. I just caught that on camera, guys. I, I seen the light go off too. That light straight just went off by itself. We're literally playing with fire right now. I really like for real. don't want to be here right now. Are you in this room? Now I'm afraid to open the box because of you guys. <laughs> well, I just don't like hurt. Hurt? hurt. No, yeah, I, I don't mind you opening it. I'm just not touching it. That's all. Yeah, but I'd rather have Seth also on board as well. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. This is weird. Like... If I didn't have Colin's experience in the bad luck... He's already like, being... I really feel like Seth is already being targeted enough. And to open a divot box would be, like, adding fuel to the fire, really. Probably not the safest bet to do. Um, if they really didn't want to do it, I'd say there's no shame in that. Yeah, it would I, be really different. But I'm not kidding. That bad luck hit me hard. Dude, the light the just light. turned on. Hello? Who's in there? Strong enough to turn off and on a light. Do you want us to sit around this table? Blame. 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 Are you the one to blame for the fire? If you are, give us a sign, please. Can you turn off that light in there? Just turn. Oh! oh God. Yo, no way. Bro. As you're behind it, Wyatt. We're gonna sit around this table here. Who's got the flashlight for two seconds? Whoa. It turns on by sensor. No way. Yeah, yeah. but that's but up because that nobody. In there. Yeah, Dude. it can't sense us. Yeah. Look where the sensor points. Where? What? It goes underground. Oh bro. no. It points underground. Well, if it's a sensor, how how could how could that's we be setting that off? No, no, we we can't. Yeah, we weren't we setting mean, it off. It's impossible. Yeah, we were not setting it off. We're sitting at this table here. I would leave a camera down there, and I would see if it was still going off while they left. That would be a bit suspicious. Yeah. Just to show you that we're just in one spot, so don't be afraid to approach us, please. Is there something in this box right below this device that's lighting up red? I just want to know if there's something in there. If there's not, that's okay. Oh my god. One more time, if that's true. Is there something in this box? Use your energy. Manifest it. Oh! So that just, whoa! So that just confirms, like, a thousand percent there's something in that box that we don't even know what it is. We didn't specify good or bad yet. That's the true. Light turned on again, guys. How is it happening? It We're... That makes no sense. They were saying that there was another level underground. Mm -hmm. But they haven't been able to confirm it because the concrete. Oh, just turned off? Right after you said that. There's rumors of like hidden tunnels and stuff under us. Did you just turn off? That's terrifying. Was that I removed. Oh. Do you guys that? I heard that. If the rumor about the underground tunnel or floor is true, can you give us a sign? Where is that? That's like, is that above us? That feels like it's around us. God dang. The statue just scared me. <laughs> give us a sign. Is it true? That light just turns on again. Like, could you imagine? There's no way. Like, there's we no. Won't harm you. Okay. Somebody well, that's already did. Reassuring. Who was that then? It sounds. It was me. Whoa! Oh my God. No. Oh. The same person that says it won't harm you. No. Seth, I feel for you, brother. Can you explain why? What did he do? Right when he stepped in this building, he started to feel something weird. What is your reason for targeting him? I just heard it. Yep, I just heard that. Beep, beep. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna cause more harm tonight if we continue doing what we're doing? 
That light, um, if that light just turned on. It turned on when you said that, Seth. Now, if the I'm door opens, that'd be next level. bro, but my safety comes first. I'm not opening this box. It's been a long time since I felt this sketched out and freaked out by a place. If you want Seth to open this box. <laughs> oh, I just got it. Now I feel dumb. <laughs> it, no way, bro. It wants you to open the box. And you were just joking. I was. I was totally kidding. I'm not gonna force anything. Maybe we should do it on our own terms, but the over fact- Over here. Oh! No. Over here. Whoa! Is something bad gonna happen if I open this box? I think just the box being around still has a ton of energy if there is something inside. It said there was. I'm not gonna force anybody to open the box. I brought it just as an idea. It's okay if we don't open it. Oh. God, they want it open so bad. Why That's how you know not to do it. After you said that. <clears throat> how I don't know. try this. I have this device that I'm going to bring out. If you are around us, or if there is something inside this box, I'm gonna set the device on top of the <clears throat> box. And this allows for us to hear what your voice actually sounds like. We are going to ask a bunch of questions, and in between those questions, Speak loud and clear. Guys, I think we need to do an EVP right now. Let's do an EVP, boys. Dude, what? That light what? just turned on. Yeah. Nobody's even near it. No. And the sensor. What was, was that a high? Or hey, that was a voice for sure. I heard it. That was a voice. It was like a mean, mean one though. I was killed. Oh, oh, Mary! We, I, I just heard hey, and now it says I was killed. Mary literally was killed. This is where it happened. It's just, this whole place just gives like, what well, you said it upstairs. Like First we get like, my arms, and now I I was killed. Oh my gosh. Like paranoia. Yeah. Like I just feel so pretty like good. paranoid. Pretty good, pretty good evidence. That light turned off. Ooh, try it, dude, real quick. If there's someone inside of that cabinet, go oh, fuck. Can you turn on that light? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, bro. Whoa. To be honest, that even went off a different time. So if there was a timer on it, it would have been going on the same timer. It turned on way faster than the last time. Yeah, the guy. That's a good was... call, bro. That's Seriously, really that call. is legit. Now. That's Insane, dude. No, that's legit, cool. dude. That's cool. There is something really for real there. Like, I wasn't sure if there was a timer sensor. Now that confirmed everything. Okay, if you can turn it off, please turn it off. I'm gonna ask you another question. Show us if what you got. Through a light inside of a cabinet. That's insane, bro. It's already starting. Turn it off, please. <gasps> oh my god. No <gasps> way. Are you willing to come over here and speak into this device for us to hear your voice? Can you come out of that closet, please? The closet all just opens. Dude. Bruh. That would be so cool. I don't know if it would be, actually. I would quit ghost hunting if that happened. I, I, I would be too scared. I'm already freaked out, like, really bad. I want to ask one more question before we start the EVPs. Are you an evil entity? Heavy. Heavy. That's how I described the feeling. Remember, it said we won't harm you earlier. So need help. Need help. Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Wow, dude. That's so insane. How is this happening? We need to do EVPs right now. The way he reacted, I thought it opened. Let's find out what's going on. What if it's the box that's doing this? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. There was a little girl that had set on fire in this room. What was your name? Did you just touch my bed? No way. You swear on everything? You didn't. I haven't recorded. Dude, some, something just touched my back. You okay though? Yeah, that was weird. I'm gonna start it again. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Whoa! Oh uh, well, God. yeah, yeah, Me? it works. Wait, that bro. confirms. He... he scares people. 
Okay, I'm starting this EVP. I'm starting this device. We're gonna ask a question. Please answer loud and clear. The fact that that light's not doing anything now is very odd. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, there was a little girl that had set on fire in here. What was your name? Can you give us the name of the person that you want to open this box? Fuck. Is the evil entity that set Mary on fire the same person that scratched me upstairs? He's really fixated on that. What's in this box? The light must have turned on. No. Couldn't find it. Okay, boys, do you wanna do you wanna do the duties? Because I don't know really how to use it as good as you do. No, it's all right. Yeah, I'll do it. You guys, ready? Here we go. I almost don't heard open. Seth. No. Did you guys don't also know. hear that? No, I feel like that's what you want to hear, in my opinion. It clearly did not say Seth. Hey, I'm going to play it back one mind. Here we go. I'll slow it down. Here we go. We slowed it. I, I hear it. Don't open. Don't open. Death. Death. Whoa. Whoa. What's Death. in this box? Death. I'm playing it back. That was pretty f clear, dude. Here it comes again. What's in this box? Death. Death. So there's. Whoa. That's a scary. And you might answer. be able to edit that and like hear more from it. Yeah. But I heard, I heard death for sure. We might have heard Seth Borden or Seth. I'm not sure. Or I, after Ryan said "Don't open," now I can hear it saying "Don't open." I, I'm pretty yeah. sure it says "Don't open." Don't open. Don't open. I'm Why gonna do this on one more time here. Please speak loud and you clear open that box? into this device that I'm going to be holding in my hand. Also remember, notice there's no light going on, and it's nope. been this. Not this, at all. Yeah, a good five minutes. That means they came out. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Is the evil entity here with us right now? If you want us to leave, say the word leave. Do you mean to cause harm? Now, Again, I normally I normally dive into this a little bit more. When I hear noises in an old house, I, I automatically don't go to paranormal because it's an old house. It's going to creak. It's going to make noises. That's just a fact. But so far, I would say most of this stuff is absolutely 100% paranormal. When it's footsteps, that's different than like hearing maybe like a slight knock or a creak in the distance. I mean, again, it's an old house. It's going to do stuff like that. That's no surprise to me. But yeah, the running and stuff, that is unexplainable. The Shadow Man. What's Great. your name? <laughs> Is there someone in this closet right now? Well, I'd say yeah. You have to be f kidding me. Didn't go off the entire Dude. session. And the fact that it didn't go off that long completely eliminates the possibility of it being on a timer. No, yep. it's not on a timer at all. No. They just responded to River right away. Yep. Wow. That just freaked me the f out. For real, that was on command. Pretty okay. great. Pretty great evidence. Should I play it back now? Yeah. Here we go. Yes. Do you 
Yes. The shadow man. What's your name? Is there someone in this closet right now? What was that? Is there someone in this closet? Go check. Fuck that. And it sounds like they're talking amongst each other. Like they can't see. So they can't see them, in other words. That is some eerie EVP right there. Uh, I almost hear, yes, there is someone in this closet. The whole sentence. Is there someone in this closet right now? Dude. I definitely hear the word closet. Whoa. The whole thing. Oh, dude. That's weird. It's hard because sometimes our, our minds play tricks, but it sounds like it for real. This is gnarly down here, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's have Seth hold it and ask one question. <clears throat> And I want you to ask if the entity that scratched you is close. Okay. Is like close by. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Is the entity that scratched me close? So the, when you said that is the entity close, you knew it was tapping behind Ryan. Mm -hmm. Tell me you guys heard that really. F loud. Yeah, the door. That sounded like a door slam upstairs. That's what that sounds like. Oh my f that. Do, 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 we would have so saw it though on, was coming down on camera. Yeah. You got cameras in every room. Let's listen to this. Here I am. Yeah. There is no f way. Whoa. Here I am. That is clear as day. He like got right up next to Seth's head and right and yelled in that thing. Here I am. I am or yes, right here. I hear. I hear. Here I am. Yes. Here right I am. Up. And that's it. It didn't even pick up then. Here I am. Oh my God. Whoa. Dude. This is insane. I mean, that confirmed everything. My body is so f chilled up right here now. Here I am. It's just ch chilling by here. I mean, remember, it did the taps right behind you. Here I am. I mean, what more evidence do we need? That's... I totally agree with you, man. I mean, I mean, for real, though. Okay, out of respect, I wanted to open the box, but maybe if you guys want us to open the box, I don't know if there is something in it or if there isn't. There are so many other, like, places that us three could go and open it. So if you guys want us to open it, get this video to 35,000 likes. Just hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this episode too, please. It's a very dark, scary episode. That just lets us know, you know that you guys do I, like what we're doing so far. I've, I've never been a giant fan of that, where they kind of, if you want us to open it, give us a lot of likes. When it's something like this, where it's a Dybbuk box, specifically a Dybbuk box, or something that could be life risking or anything like that, I would always cautionarily, I would, I would never want to do that. I would, I'm very cautious when it comes to, because there's people and people who've asked me, would you ever do an Ouija board and stuff if you ever hit like 100,000 subs or if you hit like 50,000 subs? And I've always said, no, I probably won't because I really think that's risking a lot. I mean, I, I don't know what happens when you die, but I do not want whatever was attached to that Ouija board or whatever I let into this world do that Ouija board to actually be standing next to me when I die or whenever I do die. I, I, I don't know what effect it's going to have on me in the afterlife. So I just, I would prefer to stay away from that shit as much as I possibly can. What do you guys say we go up to Mary's room, do you know, the flashlight method, and see if we can, because I want to find out what happened to her. Yeah. I think we should have two spirit talkers going. I want see if we can get as much as we can out of Mary. Right. We know the dark entity is here. That's facts. You already got scratched right away. Can I, can I just, yeah, dude, can I just say something? Remember when you said that you thought it, it said don't open? Yeah. I don't know why, but like in, in my in my mind, like my, my first thought was Mary. Telling you not to do it. Oh. Trying yeah. to protect and you. And that's just my gut feeling. So honestly, I feel like that's the best thing for us to do. Well, I think she also told us that he scares us or he mm -hmm. scares people. She said that, yeah. yeah. The spirit talker. We're onto something, man. Like, this is 100% the 
Legit. It's groundbreaking, actually. The spirits here, the people who are telling the stories about the spirits here. Facts. It's happening. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, let's make our way upstairs and see if we can come in contact with Mary. The little girl, Mary. Mary, we came up to your room to try and see if you are here. It's unfortunate what happened to you. Somebody, something, or maybe it was a natural accident. We don't know. But people say that it was something here that set you on fire. We're on the side up here. What was that? I heard running up Guys. there. Guys! What? Come here, come here. What? No, I heard it. Is I the ball really down the stairs? Mary? Did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. Dude, that sounded like a child's footsteps, bare feet, going do 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 do. And then I think that device, something beeped down there. I'd ask to knock that okay, ball down. Sorry. That was really weird. I heard it too. You guys should put the What? My um, left ear is ringing. What the f? You okay? Something keeps with you, man. They want you. Dude, like just just as I walked through the door, like my hearing broke. Like I literally felt like I just went deaf for half a second. And then in my left ear, it just started ringing like a grenade just went off in my ear, bro. That's so f weird. Mary, I have this device here that allows you to give us a yes or a no. If you can, please answer some of the questions that we ask. I got a yes and no device. I'm gonna set it on the bed. Don't be nervous. Whoa! Whoa, yep. Don't be nervous. Everyone's nervous right now. <laughs> Specifically Seth. <gasps> what? Did you? What? What? That There's an hit. EMF meter right there. Dude, it just hit red. That was so loud. It just hit it again! It's doing it again! Oh my god. I've never seen those work like that. Mary, is that you? Oh! Whoa! No! Mary, I, if, it, if this is really you, I'm sorry what happened to you, because I think whatever messed with you is messing with me Little tonight. Little girl around you. Oh! Bro. Green! Oh, I'm with green. Oh, whoa! Bro. That is proof! That is facts. Oh no way! That's one of the you... most unreal things we've ever caught. That's insane. That's, I think Mary was doing the that. The pyramid went off too? Yes. No. Take, Take photo. photo. She's Dude, known to be caught in photos. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What the? No way, dude. That there's something extremely wholesome about this. It's she's really trying to reach out to these guys, like really trying to reach out to them. Take a photo, you know, you might be able to see me. I mean, wow. Oh my God, this is too good to be true. Mary, I'm gonna take a couple photos. Yeah. yeah. Mary, I'm gonna take some photos of your room. If you can show yourself to any of us, please do that. I'm gonna cry if she's in one of these pictures. I, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with the K2, I guess. Guys, that's behind us. River, watch out. Yeah, take one over here, I feel it. Like... Mary, while Seth is taking photos, can you do us a favor, please? This device here on the bed, if you can make it say yes, That'll let us know that you are here with us right now. Please, we're not here to harm you in any way. It's nice to meet you as well. No, not here. No, not here. Whoa. Um, mm -hmm. So is that like a trick? No, not here. I said, if you're here, can you please touch this device? And she said, no, not here. Like on the bed though, you set it on the bed. Do you want me to set it somewhere else? Whoa, did you just see that? I just what? caught that. Yeah, what, something they, happened. they switched it over to a different setting. Yeah. They're switching it over. Whoa, whoa, this whoa, has whoa. never happened. This no. doesn't happen. No, you have to hit a button to do that. Yes. So they're are messed. You, are you trying to say that you want? Whoa. It's not functioning. This never happens. So they're messing with your device. Yes. Is is Mary or whoever trying to say that maybe it wants to use the other mode? The number mode. Five. What are you trying to tell us with the numbers? There's five of us. There is five of us. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, whoa! Dude, it just went. It went into that room. Wow. I. It's so hard to like with yeah, with numbers. any numbers. Downstairs. Oh my god. That was the one on the railing. 
Wow. Yeah. Creature. 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 Oh, maybe the box, dude. Maybe the box holds some sort of weird demonic creature. I mean, it's so it's definitely powerful because the REM pod was going off on the box. Everyone wants the box open. Yeah. You just don't know. That was a tap right in the corner. There. That was more than a tap. Yeah. Guys, suffer. 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 Guys, EMF is going crazy. I'm gonna switch it back over to the yes and no. Is there a creature here? Can you make it say yes if there is? I think what happened, I think what happened was that Mary was there and she was very excited but then had to leave because the creature showed itself. And that's why she said, um, that's what, I think it was the creature who said, no, not here, because she chased off the, the kid. I hear walking on the stairs. Oh, it downstairs again. You just said you heard walking on the stairs, and that device just went off. What was that? Whistle. I heard a, like, out loud whistle. Come up here, please. Where's Mary? Did you run away? Uh, I think the EMF meter just went off. I think so too. It's going. It's going. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Mary, are you still here? Or was it ever Mary? Right? There's always that. But the fact that the device I think it was. was literally giving I think it was. I think something chased her off. That's so sad that she stuck there with whatever whoever that thing is. That's all that information. There's a little girl around you. That's legit. Yeah. That's a cool fact. Ask a question? Oh, yeah. Mary, if you're still here, I just want to know, because you can probably see the other spirits in this house, but I want to know, do you, do you recognize the evil entity? Is it still here? Downstairs. Was that green? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Don't they have two different, like, sounds? Yeah, the green is higher pitch. This place is really active. It's really active and really scary. Mary, I really want to know. We all really want to know what happened to you. Don't go. Don't go. That makes a lot of sense when saying don't go. She was saying how he scares me. Don't go. Something's up, man. She was here, right? I wonder if she was up in her room and the dark entity was downstairs with us. I wonder if she, like, dipped hmm. it was weird like she was in here with us for a little while and then she went boom left well dude remember that's what you said that the spirits like to do here yeah it would but i'm wondering if she ran away because of the evil entity might be back with us right now true it would I explain think that's the what activity happened. we had in here yep. and then those footsteps that you heard like yeah. running away yes mm -hmm. that sounded like a child yeah mary's not in here anymore is she why have you come? Whoa, that's him. Because we were- I love talking. We were never talking to Mary, were we? Are you the boss here? Oh, Ema. Damn, that thing's going to red. <gasps> yes! Yes. Oh my God. And no. This is the whole thing that's been happening tonight, bro. It's just trying to confuse us and mix up the story. Yes, yes. again, bro. Wow. Can you confirm that your name is Eddie? If you're the boss, you'll tell us, right? Hello, all. Whoa! Oh my God. What the hell? That's confirmation, I think bro. That is Hello, all. Oh my God. We have never gotten anything like that. Hello, Hello all. all. I've never even heard that say that either. That was a confirmation right there. Yeah. So his name is Eddie, and it goes with Ed Edwardian. Edwardian. Yeah. Well. And it said yes. yes. Oh my God. No. Yes. no. Just yeah. confirmed. Yes. Eddie, was that you that scratched that? Oh, I was about to ask that. Maybe you can Whoa. confirm in this device on the bed. I can scare you. Whoa! Oh my god. I can scare you. Yeah. Is that all you, you Yeah, can cocky do? son of a gun. I'm not gonna say that. I will flash the lights. <gasps> oh my god. 
flashlights. All of these devices that we have, they've set off and they Wait. do flash a light. Or the closet, second, the... Bro. Down in the basement, bro. In the, the light's <gasps> flashing. Oh, right. Oh, s***. Come and go. And it said, Eddie is in there, go check. Come and go. Ah, so Eddie's the little... I have an idea. Little son of a gun. Eddie, or anybody else, I have this device here in my hand. It's just a simple flashlight. I'm gonna go set it next to that device in that little closet. If you can, please turn it on for us. I'm gonna go set it down. What did it say? It said no. No. It said no. It said no. You just said you will flash the lights. Not friendly. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, dude. Seth might be f No way. If that's the case, we might not be able to be in here much longer. I just wanna do this method real quick. See if we could gather some more, and then, yeah, it's probably a good idea to get Seth out of here. Yeah, Bale. Are you trying to follow Seth home? Oh my yeah. god. It just said yes! It just said, okay, it just started with no. And that's when you tell it, you are not allowed to follow me. He's an honest spirit, I'll give him that. After I said, pro like, yeah. we should probably get him out of here, it says no, and then you just said that, and it said yes. It's been targeting Seth, and now it makes sense, it wants Seth. It's actually too bad for you, Eddie because that's not happening. Well, I just set that flashlight in the closet right there. Can you turn it on, please? Use your energy. Show us how much power you have. Give us a sign. That's the last thing, and then we're leaving. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Get the f out. That, that was a full f round. No. It, did it said no, and that spiked to red for like two full seconds. Just turn it on once, please. You're there. Whatever this thing is, it's powerful, dude. That was three knocks. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hard one out there. Sorry, Seth. No, you're good, man, go. I'll make you a deal. If you turn that light on, we'll leave Seth behind. It's just like Stop. the one in the closet downstairs. Same thing. That's why they don't want it on? I like the dark. Whoa. Mary! The evil entity doesn't like the dark. If you could turn that light on, that'll make the bad man go away. Can you turn the light on for us? We're scared. Come on, Mary. No. It just said no again, bro. Said no. Dude, I'm getting scared as f like, for real. That, that is like, I, I wouldn't expect a child to go up again. I, ah, dude, it's such a tricky situation because, you know, I would never want a child spirit who's already terrified enough. Very risky situation. Again, these are things that we don't truly understand yet. So we don't know if we're making things worse or making things better for people. We're always hoping we make things better for the people who can never move on. But at the same time, man, you just never know. You just never know. Oh, I'm getting scared. Because she's the one who's going to be stuck with that guy, not you guys. You guys are going to walk away. She's the one who's going to be stuck with the aftermath of everything. And I already feel so much. I, I feel so concerned for that spirit. Come on. No, 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 no. It won't stop. I've never seen. It's like, yes. What the f is going on, bro? Dude. That's scary. It's actually, that's like. Freaking scary. How is it? How is that possible? How is that happening? Like that made me be really scared. Man, I'd quit right now. <laughs> scary. Just turn the light on once and we're leaving. Mary, if you want to leave with us. Yes! Oh they did it! Scared me. It said yes. My it said yes. It literally said yes right after that, bro. Dude, I really think we have to leave. No, like actually, this is so bad. Sorry guys, that that took a long time, bro. After I asked that, it's like freaking me out. No, we're moving saying, around. We're, we're moving, moving around. around. They have been That's this whole night. Say. Yeah, they've been moving around okay. everywhere. I promised it, Mary. We're gonna try and get you out of here. What you need to do is once we leave out of that back door onto the porch, as soon as we open the door, you're going to see a bright white light. You need to move on. It's time. What happened to you was wrong. The bad man cannot have you here anymore. He has no more control. We are your guide. Follow us, please. You cannot follow us home, anybody, any spirit here. We are all protected, and especially Seth. 
Okay guys, uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea for us to get out of here. This was insane, dude. It's too scary, this like, crazy. actually. We just experienced some incredible stuff. It's almost unreal. I know, no. What we it, just went through? No, actually. Yes. Yes. Literally, it's, it's unreal. And the fact that the light hasn't done anything since, after we said that we're gonna leave, okay. Regardless, now is the time. If you guys did like this episode, please help us out. Get it to 40,000 likes. That just shows us that you do enjoy these episodes. Tonight, the Octagon was insane. And I'd love to eventually make a return here. That's not my number one priority because we are going to the Haunted Hill House again. Did you say that? I did not say that. Did you say that? Say what? I heard the word scary. That's what I heard. What'd you hear? What, you heard a voice out loud? Free! Free! <gasps> Oh my god. Dude, free. No, my hair that made my hair stand up a little bit. I heard I heard something. I heard scary or something. It was on can the side. Guys, guys, can we please get like actually get guys, 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 guys. That's that's cool, but like I'm all set here. I want okay. uh, It sounds good. Bro, I'm actually scared. Like if you guys do like this video, it shows us that you do enjoy what we do. We have to get out of here. Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please hit that subscribe button. It only takes a couple of seconds. Give us a chance. Josh and Seth's channels will also be down in the description. Check them out because we did an episode with them that's not going to be on our channel and it's insane. We will see you next week. Peace. Pretty, pretty intense episode right there. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good evidence. I do feel bad for Mary. I'm hoping what she meant when it said free, that meant she is free now. I'm hoping that's what it meant. So I'm hoping if I ever go here someday, I don't ever have to come across Mary. Or if it is Mary, it's probably not Mary. I'm hoping Mary is actually free and moved on in a better, in a, in way better place than that house.